Hello everyone and welcome back to Sandy Says. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the 2021 toy shortage, what it is, what are some alternative items for toy items that may be out of stock, and what we can do about it. So the issue apparently is that there is a super high cost in shipping containers, lack of truck drivers, and lots of other issues have contributed to a toy shortage, um, primarily from also a plastic shortage. I won't go far enough to say that there will be an actual toy, toy shortage, but there may actually be a selection shortage, which is something you're probably already seeing on your like local Walmart and Target store shelves. Manufacturers of toys like Fisher Price, Mattel, and LOL Surprise Dolls are encouraging parents to start shopping early, like now, it's 1st of October while I'm filming this, because they are expecting it to be challenging to replenish items later in the holiday season this year. Typically, you know, around December, you're able to be able to find a toy last minute, and they don't think you're going to be able to do that this year, even though some toys are, like, um, sourcing their own freight freight trucks and like cargo ships and things like that, they aren't expecting to be able to get those, that like last rush where all of a sudden things are in stock mid-December. They're saying that that's probably not going to happen this year. So if you can't find it in October or early November, you may not be able to get it at all this year. And then they're also anticipating many toys to increase in price later in the season. They've already, I've already noticed a huge jump in the price of leapfrog toys. So I definitely think this is true just like with everything else, groceries and everything. So what I have done today is compiled a list of toys for you that are in brands that are all made in the United States. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that these toys will stay in stock um, because you know, some of the the plastic and things like that may also be sourced from China, but these are all toys that are produced and sold stateside, and hopefully that will help you find some toys. And I tried to compile a list of things that were not only big ticket items, but also some small stuffer, small stocking stuffer items as well. And I think you're going to be surprised with what I found. So let's get into okay, it. So the first thing I want to talk about is madeinamerica.com. So it's a physical store, but basically it's a curation of items that are 100% made in the United States and you can shop by toy or any for any other category for anyone else that you're shopping for. Just to warn you that when you are shopping by toys, there are a lot of puzzles. And I mean like a massive selection of puzzles. But if you dig deep, I promise you there are some really cool finds in there and a lot of things that are not just puzzles. You just have to keep scrolling because it's a lot, a lot. You've probably heard of this next company before. We've had several of their toys, and that is Green Toys. Everything is made 100% from recycled material, mostly from re recycled milk jugs. And because the toys are made from recycled plastic, they are super sturdy and durable, and they last forever. We've had their wagon. Um, they have a lot of cars, things like that. They don't really have any building toys, but they do have a good selection of toys that the kids can like push around, play with, and their bath toys are great as well. Third, we have Connects. Connects may be the wow item that you are looking for. This is definitely a toy that I recommend. It's something that I had when I was a kid. I remember spending hours building a Ferris wheel with my siblings with Connect when I was a kid. Starting with sets for ages three and up, they have several building sets on their website. On Amazon, start prices start at $20. And the sets go up from there, but you can also buy them at Target, Walmart, and Michaels. Next up, we have Roy Toys. So these are building logs that are similar to Lincoln Logs. We have a set of the classic logs, and my kids love them. They are made in Maine and range from $11 all the way up to $70, depending on what size set that you get. Everything on their website ships free if you purchase over $50, and it looks like if you purchase less than $50, it's $5. And then they also have these $12 building sets that look really cool. Um, basically what it is is a building set that comes with the paint, and then the kids can paint it. It looks like it would be an awesome stocking stuffer, and I think it's definitely something we'll be getting for our kids. If you haven't guessed, the next thing on my list is Lincoln Logs. So these are also made in the United States, very similar to Roy Toy, classic toy. I had them when I was a kid. I love them. They have a wide variety of set. You, they're easy to find, so you can get them at Amazon, Walmart, and at Target. And it looks like on Amazon, they range from $25 all the way up to $70, depending on how big of a size that you can get, because you can get just a small building set all the way up to where you can build like an entire town. 
So I highly, highly recommend these. And I also didn't realize until making this video that the same people that make connects are the people who make Lincoln Logs. Sixth on our list is Fat Brain Toys. So this may or may not be a website that you have heard heard of before. But Fat Brain Fat Brain Toys is a website that focuses on quality open ended toys. So it's a cura curated collection of toys from a bunch of different brands with a mix of toys that they have designed and created. So they have other brands as well as their own house brand. Their entire website isn't made in the United States, but they do have a tab that is specifically a list of toys made in the United States, which I will link down below in the description box. Um, there are several things on the page that looked promising to me. Um, the first thing is the personalized name puzzle. So if you have like a one-year-old or a baby that you're shopping for, um, you know, those kids that are kind of hard to shop for, the personal name puzzles are a good option for them because they're the knob puzzles, which are good for their fine and gross motor skills. But then also it's kind of like an heirloom item where they can keep it, they can display it on a shelf, they'll probably have it forever. They also have this epic solar balloon that floats using the power of the sun as well as science kit several science kits and these magnetic super mind kits that would make an awesome stuff stocking stuffer. It's a magnet magnetic puzzle that are created using geometric shape. We have something very similar and my kids absolutely love it and it was a perfect item for when we were traveling on the plane last summer. Before I get into number seven, I just want to remind you to please hit that subscribe button down below if you're enjoying this video. I would really appreciate it. I post two videos every week, one on a toy review or a toy tutorial and another on a baby review or baby tutorial and I would love to have you. So number seven is do a dot. If you have an elementary age kid, this is a must have stocking stuffer. Do It Out is a company that was created by a mom and a preschool teacher who wanted her kids to be able to create, create art that was mess free. Um, obviously we all know what a pain art containers can be sometimes. So what they are is they're spill free markers and the images that come with them or for them um, are the images are created in circles. So the kids can create like a princess, princess page or whatever simply by dabbing the markers down on the page. You can also use them um, just on blank paper. My son uses them in school to do the shapes of letters. So that's also a great learning tool. They are no spill mess free markers that allow your littles to create art without the hassle of traditional paint kits. On their websites, you can find do a dot project books, marker kits, as well as free printable pages. And then you can also find them on their website, Amazon, walmart.com, Michaels, and other school supply stores like Staples. Number eight is White Mountain Puzzles. So if you have a kiddo that loves puzzles, this next company is definitely for you. They have everything from kids floor puzzles to 1000 piece puzzles and the website makes it easy that you can shop by theme, piece count or difficulty and it looks like the prices start around $14. Everything ships within one to two business days. White Mountain Puzzles, White Mountain Puzzles is a family owned company out of New Hampshire and everything is on sturdy chipboard made out of recycled paper. So you know it's good quality and then the images on the puzzles are just absolutely amazing. Number nine is a really cool thing that I had not ever heard before until researching this video, but it's Hero Dex. And I assumed that my husband probably would have known because, you know, he was a boy once, but um, he did not. So these are a simple and cool stocking stuffer. Heroes are unique novelty playing cards and puzzles. Everything is made in the United States and the company is based out of Ohio. And every deck is 52 of the greatest players and by position and era for that team. Um, for a specific team's history. So if you buy the Atlanta Braves deck, you're going to get um, a 52 players of the Atlanta Braves um, players, 52 of the greatest like of all time players. You can buy these decks for Major League Baseball, football, hockey, as well as college sports. And then the website also has an other section that includes like rock and roll, country music, American racing, and black America. The decks retail for $11 and um, look like they would be a great stocking stuffer if you have a little kid that's into sports. Number 10 is Maple Landmark. Um, so it's wooden toys, which I really figured that I would have a lot more wooden toys on this list than what I do since the prim plastic is primarily from China. Um, and wood is easier to source in the United States, but this is, I think, the first wooden toy company we've come to. Um, so it is a small company that sells wooden toys to everyone and for everyone, including babies. 
For the littles, they have baby rattles, wooden trains, and building blocks. And if you are willing to spend $300, they have this stunning rocking horse on their website. They also have some classic board games. And then what I believe is their best seller is their wooden magnetic name train trains, which similar to the Fat Brain Toys puzzle, it's something that you could buy for your little. And it would be each train car has their has the letters that make up your kid's name and then they can push it around and it'd be something that could sit on their shelf or that they could keep um, into adulthood. Number 11 is Cabbage Patch Dolls. But these aren't just the Cabbage Patch Dolls that you're thinking of that are in the store with the final vinyl face. You know that the Cabbage Patch Dolls have their own hospital in Cleveland, Georgia? I've been there and it's really cool. Check out their website and you will see that aside from the vinyl face dolls you see in stores, you can actually go inside Babyland General Hospital and see your baby being born. If you are not local to Georgia, you can also order these one-of-a-kind hand-stitched dolls online. Each doll is hand-stitched by a local artist and no two items are exactly alike. And they all come with an adoption certificate for your little one to treasure. So I don't know if this is a thing in other places around the country, but I do know that here it's like a rite of passage to go to Babyland General and get your Cabbage Patch doll. Um, you can do it two ways when you go actually inside Babyland General. So you can go in and you can pick a doll with a vinyl, vinyl face um, and those dolls are a little bit cheaper but then like you actually, um, your doll is born and then they give you a little adoption certificate and there's like a, a little ceremony and it's like, it's a whole thing and everyone around here has done it for the most part. Um, but if you wanna spend a little more, you can get these cloth face dolls, which are essentially the original Cabbage Patch doll pattern. Those are the dolls that are one of a kind and uh, similar to like buying an American Girl doll. It's the kind of doll that you keep forever. Um, but my daughter also loves to play with hers too. So I highly recommend those. And lastly, I cannot do a video like this without mentioning Etsy and secondhand toys. So if you search on Etsy, you can find just about anything. Just remember to shop early because as an Etsy seller myself, I know that it gets insane around the holiday time. And then with last year's shipping delays and everything, you really just can't trust it. So if you're taking the Etsy route, I highly recommend getting your orders in by the 1st of November to give your creator ample time to make your product. Um, I've seen things on Etsy like fidget toys, um, lots of handcrafted things, uh, all kinds of stuff. So whatever you're looking for is probably on there um, and it's a great route to go because you're supporting another seller and don't be and then lastly don't be afraid to shop secondhand I have a friend who literally only buys secondhand gifts and none of the kids in her family ever notice like don't be afraid to do that especially if you're shopping for your own kids like it's not a big deal it's cheaper it's better for the environment and it helps put money back in someone else's pocket so if I buy a Barbie's dream house from somebody down the street then it helps her use that money to be able to turn around and buy Christmas for her kids and I really like the of a cl the concept of a closed loop circle when it comes to Christmas shopping. So don't be afraid to buy secondhand. If you look hard enough on Facebook Marketplace, you can find some big ticket items for cheap around October and November. I also recommend making a in search of post on your local Facebook moms groups because sometimes you might say, hey, I'm looking to buy a secondhand Barbie dream house for my daughter for Christmas. And somebody might pipe up and say, oh yeah, I've had one of those sitting in my garage. I've been meaning to sell it for months. So don't be afraid to reach out and ask people um, if anybody like a random question if anybody has one or if they know where you might be able to get one. Um, I, it's also a great way to find deals too. So that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you find it helpful. If you shop any of these companies, please comment down in, below and let me know. I would also love to hear what you're buying your kiddos for Christmas this year. Uh, if you're shopping early, I want to know all the things. So if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I love you. I I appreciate all 1,000 of you. That's insane to me. And happy shopping. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.